Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about resin. We're going to resin some stones here. I'm going to take you through the process. Uh, the first thing I want to do is talk about um, protection. So making sure that your hair is up. If you have long hair, getting red hair um, in the resin and resin in your hair is not fun. Um, an apron to protect your clothes or a smock, anything like that, that um, is going to help protect uh, because it's, resin does tend to get a little bit messy sometimes. Uh, I've protected my table with wax paper. This is what I'm going to use. Um, it's part of the process for me resining the stones. I also have rubber gloves. I have my two-part epoxy resin. I have two plastic cups. This is where I'm going to be mixing my resin. I also have two um, plastic, I guess they're like the shooter glasses, the little red solo cups here. Um, this is what I'm going to make, be mixing my two parts in before I'm combining them together because you need to make sure you have the exact same amount of both products. We are going to resin um, stones that have already been painted. I actually have quite a few stones here. Um, I tend to wait till I, I've gathered a few stones um, before I do this process because it does take a little while and uh, it kind of takes up your tabletop for a while so you want to make sure it's worth it. <laughs> um, so I have stones here that um, we actually painted in the last couple of videos so I'm going to resin those. I also have stones that um, I'm looking forward to painting however um, they have, they're not quite as smooth as I want them to be to paint on. Um, they do have some little div divots in there. Um, I also have some stones that are beautiful in shape, but they're, they're kind of a grainy, rough texture on the outside. And I'm a bit concerned that that's not going to leave a really nice um, dot when I'm painting on that. So I've got a few of those stones that I'm going to also put resin on. I also have a couple stones that I thought might have been okay, but when I put my black dot on it, I can see that it's not exactly as smooth as I want it to be. So I'm just going to resin over those and I'll keep the black dot and then they're ready to go to um, start my mandala. So the first thing that we're going to do, actually also I have stir sticks. So I'm going to, you can choose, I have, there's popsicle sticks, um, coffee stir sticks, those long, um, tongue depressor um, sticks as well, whatever you've kind of got in hand that you're going to be able to toss because everything really does need to be disposable. You're not going to be able to um, save it because you can't put the resin down your sink and so you got to have things that are going to be disposable. Um, I also have my heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, you can have a couple straws on hand. This is what I've used um, all of the time prior to my heat gun is um, straws for at the end. So I'm gonna show you what to do with that. If you do have a heat, to get heat gun, then that's great. So we're gonna get started here. I'm gonna put my gloves on. And I'm gonna take you down here to my table to get that you have a little bit closer look. Okay, so I've got my gloves on, I'm ready to go here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out um, the resin into one of the little uh, shooter cups and I'm going to put the hardener into the other one. You need to make sure that they're exactly the same. Um, so the amount of resin that you're going to use depends on how many rocks you're going to be um, putting resin on. As you can see I've got a bit of a selection here so I am going to use pretty much this full amount of cups and just a reminder that you know once you put them together it doubles that that amount so think about that when you're deciding how much resin you're going to pour into them. Then up to the one line, the first line inside there, and I'm going to do that for this side here too. So this is the resin itself. You want to make sure that you're doing this near an open window. This is an art resin, so it doesn't tend to be have as many fumes. Um, you can most definitely do it inside. 
um, some resin products that I have used. I've, this is the second time that I've used the art resin or purchased the art resin. I did purchase another resin locally, which had a little bit more of um, the fumes. So I just did it near the window, opened up the window, kept that open while they were drying and it was totally fine. This one tends to not have any fume or any smell at all, which is awesome. So we can totally do this inside and we're good to go. So I have both the hardener and the resin here together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be pouring both of these into one of the cups. This is where you can use your popsicle stick. Make sure you get as much of that out as you can. And you're going to do that same thing with the hardeners belt. You're pouring it into the same glass. Make sure you get it all in there because you want to make sure, again, you've got the exact same amount of resin and hardener otherwise you can end up with tacky projects that don't ever really cure fully they get they stay a little bit tacky to the touch or you have it where it's kind of coming off of your project your stones just not adhering quite as well okay so i have my hardener and my resin are both in here and now i'm going to stir it and you're going to give it a good stir stir for three minutes. So I'm going to stir this up and I'm going to come back. Okay, so I've stirred this up. It's been three minutes. I'm making sure I'm getting all the way around the sides, the bottom. You want to make sure this is really mixed super well. Um, you'll see lots of little tiny little bubbles in there. Uh, one thing that you can do, another safety precaution, is wearing um, a mask. I'm not doing that today because uh, it'd be pretty hard to talk on the video if, if that was the case, but I have worn the mask. Um, there is tiny little bubbles sometimes that float up and you just want to make sure that you're, uh, you're being safe. So that's definitely another per precaution that you can take. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be pouring this, this mixture into a new clear cup. This makes sure that, really make sure that you have all the resin, um, really well mixed because sometimes on the bottom it can be it can be hard to do that so a trick that i learned was to uh, stick it into another cup that means that you know you got your your top on your bottom and your bottom on the on the top now and then you can give it another little stir and then you're ready to go okay so we are ready to apply our resin so for me I like to, I'm going to start off with one of the stones that we did in um, a previous video. So I just take a little bit, or I take my um, popsicle stick and I'm just going to take a little bit of resin and I'm just drizzling that on the top here. And I'm going, I have my, my gloves on, my latex gloves, and I am just going to be massaging that all over my stone. I'm getting really good coverage all over. Make sure you cover up the whole thing. And there you have it. And you're going to do that for your next stone as well. And all of the stones that you have. Just put a little bit on there with your popsicle stick. You can always add more if you don't think that you have enough on there. But this just gives it so that you're not over resin putting more resin on there than you need. So I'm literally just rubbing the resin all over my stone and just making sure that I got the whole thing covered. So as you can see, it's giving it that beautiful shine. Just 
one of those ones that I had started and then realized it was just a little bit too, not quite smooth enough. So again, just massaging the stones all over. Making sure you get it nice and even. These are self level. This is a self leveling resin, which means that it's going to, as it settles and sets in to your stone, it's actually going to set into all of those tiny little spaces on its own, um, giving you that smooth surface and uh, having it ready for paint. So you don't have to try and get it into all those little grooves you're going to be able to just do the resin will will do that for you. So make sure with this that you know which one which side is your top and your bottom of this stone, which side it is you want to paint on because you want that facing up. Super simple process here to do this. So you're basically just doing this exact same thing for all of your stones. So I'm going to go ahead and resin the rest of these and then I'll be back. Okay, as you can see, I've got all the stones I did. So these little uh, shooter glass size, uh, that amount of resin, um, I did about just over 30 stones um, in all varying sizes. Um, so that's pretty good. And now what we, you've got about half an hour, um, half an hour to 45 minutes of playtime from when you've mixed your resin. So you've got time to do your rocks. You don't have to do them super, super fast. Um, this probably took me about 10, 10 minutes or so to just kind of go through and cover them all. And about 24 hours until they're dry to the touch. And then you still need to leave them. Um, they probably won't fully cure until about 72 hours after you've uh, resined them. So you want to leave them in a space that you can give them a couple of days to really rest and cure. So what's going to happen now, I'm not going to touch this one, but because they're still wet, but you're going to see after about 10 minutes of after you've let it then settle that you're going to see all these tiny little bubbles start popping up on your stones. Um, they're going to reach the surface this is from when we are mixing mixing the resin so now the bubble the resin is settling and the bubbles are starting to surface this is where if you have if you don't have a heat gun you can take your straw and you're just going to blow really gently on your stones and all those bubbles are going to go away if you have the heat gun then you're going to be able to gently do the same thing And all your bubbles are going to go away. If you're doing this many stones and using the straw, um, I have been winded by doing that. Um, that's why I did purchase the heat gun because um, if you're doing multiple batches of the resin or, or doing more than just kind of the one batch, um, it can t kind of take your breath away a little bit. So when you're doing a big batch like this, it's really nice to have the heat gun that you can just go over them all and it just takes away all the bubbles. Um, you'll leave it here, um, just kind of keep an eye on them, make sure there's no hair or any particles that kind of tend to settle on them. Then you can probably just really gently try and get them out with a toothpick before, um, before it's permanently in there. So there you have it. That's the step-by-step -step, uh, process for uh, resining your stones. So I just want to show you something really quickly. Um, these are a couple of stones that have already been... Um, finished with the resin and, and cured. The reason that I put the stones on the wax paper um, to settle and dry is that because the resin is a self-settling resin, the resin will tend to um, slowly go down around the sides of the stone and onto the bottom of the stone. And then with the wax paper, um, it actually will set, um, I don't know if you can see this here, but you can see that there's a base on the bottom of your stone so that when you have it ready to display, it's not gonna be super wobbly. Um, it's actually created its own little base to keep it 
um, uh, level. And so they, that's what the resin does. And that's why I put it on the wax paper because then you can just peel it right off of the wax paper and it's got its own little base for, for displaying. So I hope you have really a lot of fun with the resin. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment or send me a quick message. Um, I'd be happy to answer those for you. And I really hope that you have fun in resining your stones and making them all so beautiful and glassy and professional looking. Um, and that's, that's all I have for you for today, and I'll see you next time.